um, why the parents are not allowed to document their visitations for their own records, like writing down notes. Because you're just not supposed to. If you need your records, you get the attorney to suspend, subpoena the records and we'll give them to you. So why are, <clears throat> but why are we not allowed to document our visitation? Because you're there for a visit, not to sit there and write notes. You're there to visit with your children, not to sit there and write notes about things. I don't understand why we can't <clears throat> write notes about what goes on in the visitation for our own record. Because everything's wrote down from the uh, worker. And then if you need those records, you have to subpoena them. But you're not allowed to sit there and write things down. You're there to visit with your children. So why are the parents not allowed to have a copy at the end of the visit? Because you're not supposed to. That's just the rules. If you want a copy, you get your attorney to subpoena the records. And we'll be glad to give them to you. Who is funding the visitation? Ma'am, I'm not going to go through all this with you. We done went through all this before. Why do the employees not wear name tags and why are the parents not allowed to know who is monitoring us and what their names are? Because we don't all know. All you got to do is ask them their name. They'll give it to you. Why uh, are they allowed to be on their cell phones? We don't know that they're not po uh, taking pictures of us and our children and posting They're not on their cell phones. There are people there that are on their cell phones. I've seen them. Then, then I'll take care of that. And they won't why, see it again. Uh, why are the parents not uh, provided a copy of the policies uh, for the, the domestic relations office and the supervised visitation program? You were given a policy when you registered. Now, we if you want a policy, you can go online and, and, and uh, get a copy of the policy. Why are they? Why are you using churches as visitation sites and also using churches as a method to carry out disciplinary action against parents who have been falsely accused? Ma'am, because by that's the only way you can see your child is through a supervised visitation program, and we choose to use those churches. So we don't have to so, go and explain this to everybody that asks us why are we using a church. Why are parents placed in there without an end date, especially if they're placed in there based on false accusations? Ma'am, that's strictly up to your attorney and the judge. And us. The only thing we do is supervise the visits. That's the only thing. We don't put you in the program and we don't take you out of the program. So why are that's the parents- That's strictly up to your attorney and, and, your, and the judge. Why are the parents not uh, being informed that the Methodist churches that you're using are under an administration that has a history of employing child molesters. Ma'am, we go over this all the time with you. When you first, we have changed you from site to site because you're not happy. But we can't keep doing that. If you're not happy with our sites and our workers, you have a uh, you have a choice to us. Uh, to change that, you can go to any I, supervised yeah. visitation program that I you want know. to. Why are parents being forced to stay after after the visitation ends? So you don't run into the other party? That's the requirement? I'm talking about even after that. If the child spills something, we're punished for it. No, that's not true. That is that not is, true. It is true. So they're punished well, and make you stay? Right. Are you yes. that what you're telling me? Yes, that is correct. So what okay, do you mean well, that day? Stay. Okay, they so make us stay. Well, he probably makes you stay and clean it up. We're not to we're clean not it up. To, we're not allowed to bring in a wagon of, of toys. He will not allow us to do that. Um, because how, it's too, can you can you realize how many people that go there? Everybody can't bring a wagon full of stuff. <laughs> Because there wouldn't be no room for nobody to walk around. How are they working towards the best interest of the children in the visitation program if you're using Methodist churches that are underneath an administration that I'm, has I'm not going to answer. I am not going to answer those questions with you. We went over this, I don't know how many times with you, and changed why? you because you're not satisfied. So, why would ma'am, if you're not satisfied with us, how come you don't go somewhere else? There's other programs out there. It's in the best interest of the children. And you also have evidence of child abuse uh, against my ex-husband, who 
uh, to choke our children at any time. Yeah, Every that time was way back in the years, and we don't we don't even know nothing about that. So why don't you call CPS? I have if called that, CPS, said. but policies also state that you are required to report any allegations of child abuse. No, not and from you. Not from you, not if you say it. That's any allegation, so no. yes. No, Actually, if the children yes, come to I us and tell us stuff, then we will do that. But we do not go by hearsay I, from you. You don't. You have a recording. You don't just have hearsay from me. You have a recording. Ma'am, that was way before you got into this program. Oh, tell him. Why does the parent... Um, okay, I'm going to end this call, ma'am, because I'm not going to keep answering why, 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 why. We have... Okay. We, okay? Thank you. Um, before you ask questions about... Anthony, and I wanted to ask um, why the parents are not allowed to document their visitations for their own records, like writing down notes? Because you're just not supposed to. If you need your records, you get the attorney to suspend, subpoena the records and we'll give them to you. So why are, <clears throat> but why are we not allowed to document our visitations? Because you're there for a visit, not to sit there and write notes. You're there to visit with your children, not to sit there and write notes about things. I don't understand why we can't <clears throat> write notes about what goes on in the visitation for our own records. Because everything's wrote down from the uh, worker. And then if you need those records, you have to subpoena them. But you're not allowed to sit there and write things down. You're there to visit with your children. So why are the parents not allowed to have a copy at the end of the visit? Because you're not supposed to. That's just the rules. If you want a copy, you get your attorney to subpoena the record. And we'll be glad to give them to you. Who is funding the visitation? Ma'am, I'm not going to go through all this with you. We done went through all this before. Why?